Hi, it's John Colley and I'm back for another Six Minute Strategist Facebook live stream. And today I have a question for you, which is, are you suffering from price transition shock? Now, I'm sure you're asking yourself, as I was when I first came across this concept, what on earth is price transition shock? Well, first of all, hands up in the air and um, this is something I found in Josh Kaufman's book, The Personal MBA. Uh, I have to say, excellent book. Strongly recommend it. I've read it cover to cover. And um, I have to say, I wonder why I spent two years doing an MBA when there are books like that out there. Um, really helpful. But price transition shock. Essentially, this is the impact that you have on your customer base and also your prospects when you make a major change to your pricing structure, particularly when you put your prices up. That's where you get the shock from. When you have a commodity product and you are continually competing against other people simply on price, then if you lower your prices, you should get more sales, but you may not end up with more profit. But if you have a non-commodity product, and arguably online courses are not a commodity product. Yes, there's lots of competition, but if you want to go to the largest marketplace, you've got to go to Udemy. I mean, obviously there are other marketplaces are available, but Udemy is the market leader. So you go there and there's been a huge amount of discounting and essentially they've been behaving as if it was a commodity market and therefore they've been discounting radically. Now the concept of price transition shock comes into play when you say, okay, hold on a second. I want a better class of customer here. I don't want the guy who's just looking for the, the, you know, the cheapest, closest deal. I'm going to put my prices up. Now what this should mean, particularly if you're in a service business or if you know, you've got a product, is that you, you will almost certainly make fewer sales but the quality of your customer should go up. And if you make a significant increase in your prices, then actually you'll make more profit, not less, but with fewer customers, which is obviously very attractive if you're in a non-scalable business. So let's look and see what's been happening at Udemy. 4th of April, they put their prices up, kapow. And they've said that they get um, the majority of their sales from the people who have come onto the platform in the last three months. So I think what happened is that the existing customers said, wow, hang on a second. I get used to buying you know, courses for a dollar or you know, um, a couple of dollars. And now the minimum price is $10. And you know, that is a real shock. I mean, that's you know, potentially a 10 times increase in price, albeit we're talking quite a low price. And that's clearly had a major impact on the buying behavior of um, the existing customer base. What we cannot fathom is how it's affected prospects, how it's affected people who maybe have picked up free courses. They may be shocked as well. How it's picked up people who have been aware of Udemy, hadn't bought a course, and then saw the price changes happen so that they're aware of the, the price change and they're in shock as well. So the only people it may not impact is those people who haven't yet bought a course, hadn't yet found Udemy, and now in a sense Udemy is having to build itself up again. The question I have in my mind and the one that concerns me is with those other 10 million people who are on the platform and who have bought courses, are they in such a state of shock from this price change that they may never buy again? I suspect not. I suspect that they will come back once they've got used to it, once they've seen how the, the, the market is playing out. But I think this idea of price transition shock does explain quite neatly what has happened to the Udemy marketplace. Now, for those of you saying this is a blinding statement of the obvious, fine. Um, they put their prices up, people stop buying the prices, uh, buying the courses. Um, what I'm trying to do is put some understanding behind it as to getting to grips with the uh, a more detailed understanding of the psychology and the rationale behind what is going on so that one can learn from that experience when we move forward. So the question for you is, um, if you're a Udemy instructor or if you're a Udemy student, are you suffering from price transition shock? I hope you found that helpful. Now, if you did, please share these videos 
um, across your communities in your groups and, and with anybody you like uh, please come to the six minute strategist uh, facebook page uh, the link is on the screen below me and please come and like my page i'm at 940 something likes at the moment i'd love to get over a thousand so i can do that but only with your help if you've got any questions definitely leave comments i see them in facebook every day and uh, or email me john at jbdcolly.com you can find out a lot more about me on my website um, that's it for today there'll be another six minute strategist facebook live stream on monday i'm trying to do these uh, every weekday so i hope to see you again very soon uh, on monday for the six minute strategist um, live stream then so until then thanks for being with me really enjoyed uh, spending time with you as ever but really want to engage with you i want to get your questions i want to hear what you think i want to to try to answer questions if you want to raise them so definitely reach out to me um, i look forward to speaking to you that's it for today and i'll see you again on monday mm -hmm.